well good morning friends and good morning students today we are going to learn about standard costing and the variance analysis where we study on this topic in managerial accounting for bcom 6th semester students so now let us start this topic so what is uh, through this video lesson what we learn oh, let us see so myself nagaraj chari working in mbs government arts and science college mahbub nagar so today's topic is standard costing and variance analysis through this video yes. lesson we will learn oh, other topics that we will learn so understanding the concept of standard cost so what, what is standard, standard cost? cost the concept what that we will learn through this video lesson and uh, understand the concept of standard costing standard, standard costing so, so what, what is, is the difference between standard cost and the standard costing I know the types of standards and the process in setting standards so some standards are, are to be set up while in processing of manufacturing products so how many types of standards we have so what is the process while setting standards in manufacturing units so that we will learn through this video lesson okay next to uh, discuss the meaning and the purpose of various analysis so what is the purpose what is the uh various analysis types we have variance the difference between standard cost and actual cost uh, the difference uh, and various analysis so here uh, we can classify into three types of variances three types of variances uh, that is material variance labor variance and overhead variance so these are the of course we may have uh, sales variances also we have so we can uh, analyze profit analysis also we can analyze so these are the analysis in variances so uh, it is continue so first of all, let us take introduction let us take introduction let us take interaction so that we will see financial account is only historical costing and is only a post mortem post mortem of post mortem examination of cost hence it is not very much useful to management for cost control and uh, cost reduction purposes besides this historical costing is not useful to managerial decision making and the policy formulating purposes hence uh, to the accounting world a new concept or tool is required as standard costing so in financial accounting what we do all the historical data is recorded all the historical data is recorded what is the meaning of historical data whatever the uh, transaction is done uh, that uh, transaction only recorded so whatever the transaction is done uh, transaction means here monetary transactions whatever the monetary monetary transactions are uh, done that uh, done transactions are recorded in, in the books of accounts with the help of principles the principles may be you know uh, uh, nominal nominal accounts real accounts personal accounts with the help of these three principles whatever the monetary transactions are done that transactions are recorded in the books of accounts so whatever it is done already in the past that transactions are recorded in the books of accounts so that's why what we say this is historical data so what is done in the past that, that it is known as history so that historical data is recorded 
in the books, books of accounts, accounts with the help of in the financial accounting so that's why uh, what is the use of uh, this historical data there is no use so we may sometimes it may be useful what is happened that that was happened so with that what we do nothing we do so that's why it, it is compared with post mortem of examination so after that what is the reason we know but what uh, our uh, concept what, what will be done in the future that we have to see so that's why uh, historical data may not be useful in uh, manufacturing units so uh, in future what is the future uh, what is the what is going to be happen what is what is the future cost is going to be happening in, in manufacturing process while producing the goods that is to be known so that's why uh, that is the reason why standard costing concept has came into picture so that's why what is standard so here the concept of standard cost so let us know first standard cost it is a predetermined cost what does it mean predetermined so, so uh, expected cost so the, the cost may be going to be done in the future while producing the uh, products while going to the uh, process process the goods so that is to be known as predetermined cost predetermined cost computed in advance of production on the basis of specifications of all factors affecting cost so this is uh, standard cost so this is uh, well in advance before uh, starting manufacturing process the cost is going to be known that is standard cost so what is standard costing normally it is understood as a long step by step by step process of fixing standards using standards and their comparisons with with the actual findings actual findings uh, out of variances in between standards and actuals analyzing these variances finding out of uh, causative factors for these variances classifying these causes into controllables and uncontrollables controlling and taking remedial actions revising these standards if necessary etc thus it is a cost controlling and cost reducing device so standard costing is a process process of knowing uh, the future cost while, while producing, producing the goods so a predetermined cost is going to be known it is a continuous process it is a continuous process so in manufacturing unit uh, the manufacturing process is going to be done continuously so in future um, that's why uh, what is the cost is going to be done in future that is to be known by the manufacturer so that's why it is a continuous process so of course uh, according to market fluctuations the, the rates may be fluctuated but we have to ascertain uh, what is the standard cost what is the actual cost the variance the difference between standard cost and actual cost uh, can be compared sometimes maybe uh, uh, less than standard cost sometimes more than the standard cost may be happen so that's why uh, we have to know it is a continuous process it is a routine process so that's why knowing the cost calculating the cost ascertaining the cost in a continuous manner continuous process so that is standard costing so here um, you see uh, icma london uh, defines standard costing as the preparation and the use of standard standard cost their comparison with actual cost and the analyzing of variances to their causes and the points of incidence so at the point of incidence what cost is going to be incurred that should be known so at that point uh, analysis can be analyzed uh, variance can be analyzed so if uh, variance can be analyzed we may know in the next time sometimes we may uh, expend more than the need that analysis can be helpful in the future so that's why uh, a point of incidence we can uh, know what is the standards uh, what is the actual 
uh, it can be compared standard cost compared with the actual cost the difference can be known and then uh, the cause and effect relation we can understand uh, then we can go further we can go unwanted uh, uh, expenditure is there that should be reduced so standard cost is a tool to reduce to control the cost okay isn't it so we are we are already predetermined estimated predetermined cost is uh, with us beyond that we don't go we we don't want to go so that's why uh, that should be calculated that should be ascertained very in advance okay next you see a blocker and a beltmer defined like this standard cost is a common sense cost reflecting the best judgment of management as to what cost ought to be uh, if these plant is operated with the highest degree of efficiency highest degree of efficiency that should be calculated so these are the two definitions whatever the definition is there but ultimately what we say uh, point of at the point of incidence we can compare standard cost with the actual cost we can analyze the cause and effect and uh, then in future uh, what is the uh, unwanted, unwanted cost? cost what is a uh, wanted cost or we can say uh, what are the controllable expenditure what are the uncontrollable expenditure we can clearly measure so when we measure uh, controllable and uncontrollable expenditure then we may get a clear idea about manufacturing process then we may uh, reduce we may control unwanted expenditure uncontrolled expenditure or controlled expenditure also so then we go further so when we go further the manufacturing cost uh, product cost is going to be reduced then uh, that products will be uh, supplied to the uh, society with a affordable rates then our products will be uh, marketable easily okay so next we see why standard costing is needed so what is the purpose it is needed Standards or standard costs are established to evaluate the performance of a particular uh, cost center uh, responsibility centers and uh, to control costs. Apart from performance evaluation and the cost control, standard costs are also used to value inventory where actual figures are not reliably available and to determine selling prices particularly while preparing quotations uh, standard costing system is widely accepted as it serves the different needs of an organization standard costing is preferred for the following reasons why standard costing is needed so we are saying it is a tool it is to be uh, useful as controlling unit so for what purpose the uh, standard costing is needed that we will see prediction of future cost for decision making yes we are estimating future cost so we are estimating future cost So we are estimating future cost so what is the purpose of future cost so for future uh, production of cost it will be useful so investors invest uh, investors invest in the manufacturing units or um, producing units so to get a returns to get returns so what will be the future cost they can they have to no, with the help of these tool, these tool means standard cost. The future cost will be predicted, estimated. Then decision making will be uh, decision making will be done easily with the help of standard costing. So next we see provide a target to be achieved. So 
but the uh, some targets are to be fixed by the management with the help of that uh, targets only uh, individual and department wise and uh, production unit wise the targets are to be reached so without a target uh, no one can achieve uh, turnover so in production aspect also sales aspect also so what not anything uh, there must be a target there must be a plan there must be a uh, goal so that's why each individual each department and each manufacturing unit there should be a target there should be a plan according to that plan according to that target only uh, they can achieve the ultimate goal so that's why uh, standard cost is uh, a tool to put a uh, target to the individual and uh, units uh, the unit may be uh, production unit cost unit uh, whatever it is so uh, next we see used in budgeting and uh, performance evaluation so budgeting budgeting is action plan action, financial action plan for future budgeting is nothing but financial uh, future plan for future plan for the organization performance evaluation performance evaluation means what was the what was done in the past what should be uh, what should be do what should be done in the future so uh, that should be evaluated so standard costs are used to set budgets and uh, based on these budgets managerial performance is evaluated this is of two benefits one managerial uh, managers of a uh, responsibility centers will not be compromised with the quality of quality to fulfill the uh, budgeted quantity and uh, uh, second variances can be traced with the uh, responsible department or person so where we have uh, negligence where we have negligence where we have responsibility that can be calculated individual wise department wise can be calculated so with the help of uh, budgets in the help of um, budgeting so what we do in the future what what should be done that should be there in budgeting in performance evaluation according to the individuals the targets are fixed so according to the targets they can performing uh, their activity or not so that can be measured so individually can be measured and a department wise can be measured so then ultimately uh, they can they may give uh, incentives benefits to the individual or department what not so that's why it can be useful performance evaluation and you see one more interim profit measurement and uh, inventory valuation so interim profit and inventory valuation so interim profit is nothing but uh, so at the end of the year uh, profit or loss can be calculated through the final accounts so with the help of these uh, statements standard cost we can achieve profit or not that can be measured that can be measured uh, mid of the year mid of the year so that's why uh, actual profit is known only after the um, after the closer of the account few organizations use to prepare profitability statement for interim periods also for management reporting purpose to arrive at a profit figure standard costs are deducted from the revenue so that's why it can be measured easily it can be measured easily so that's why now uh, we can show we can show easily right so uh, this is the interim profit measurement and inventory valuation next uh, types of standards types of standards So 
So we have to uh, types of standards so standards are to, are to be set up uh, before producing the products so you have to set up standards so we have various types of standards let us see one by one first basic standards it is a standard set for a long term in an unaltered way it is suitable mostly to those products who cost or prices do not change much. So it is uh, one of the types of standards, one of the types of standards that is basic standard. So where you see uh, this is uh, this is set for. This is set for a long term in an altered way. So, for long term purpose, uh, one standard is to be set up that is basic standard. So, it is suitable for uh, mostly those products are uh, do not change much. And constantly, it, it can be run. So, such type of uh, products, this basic standard is needed. So, next we see uh, current standards. Current means uh, the name itself indicates so present situations. So let us say it is a standard set for a relatively shorter period based on current market conditions. Current on current basic basic market conditions only it is set up. It claims to be more realistic and uh, most companies use it. Okay, for shorter period. So, uh, present what is the market conditions based on that only the, this current uh, standard is set up. Next, you see ideal standard. It is self explanatory as this is set based on all idealistic conditions which are never seen. So, it is self explanatory. That means it is based for on all idealistic conditions whenever uh, which are never seen so a model model standard is required such type of a standard is known as ideal standard next expected standard it is a standard set based on certain conditions which are expected to be attained conditions prevailing in industry and that are likely to hit the industry in future are all con considered while these standard is set. So it is attainable standard. Expecting. What we expect? Something we are expecting based on the certain conditions. So when uh, certain conditions are fulfilled, what would be the uh, standard cost? Certain conditions are not to be fulfilled. Then what will be the standard cost? That is expected standards. So, uh, some conditions are to be fulfilled. Based on that only, uh, standards are to be uh, set up. That is expected standard. Next, you see uh, normal standard. It is a standard standard set on the basis of average conditions, normal conditions. Since we do not have any control over future, this normal standard uh, may not be of much use. Okay, based on average conditions, sometimes market conditions may be high, sometimes market conditions may be low. So, uh, based on uh, taking a minimum average conditions, then uh, some standards are to be set up. That standard is known as normal standard. 
okay next you see controlling process in standard casting so what is the controlling process why we are using this uh, standard casting so that's why what is the process of controlling asset in this so formulation of standard cost formulation of standard cost so formulation of standard cost for all elements of all elements of cost that is material labor and expenses standard cost are fixed very much scientifically by experts based on multiple criteria so you see in total cost are in cost elements we will see uh, three elements that is materials labor and expenses these are the uh, three items are to be uh, to be known in total cost or elements of cost so based on this uh, the formal uh, standards are to be set up so that is in a scientific way we can set up the uh, standards so that is uh, that's it so next to matching actual actuals with the standards so already we calculated a predetermined cost based on that uh what will be done in the future so what is the actual cost will be there so this actual cost and uh, standard cost will be compared in this step actual costs are compared with standard cost for the purpose of verifying whether actual cost is more or less than the standard cost that we will know so that's why matching the uh, actual cost and the standard cost it can be uh, done in controlling process next you see uh, variances and analysis there on so the difference between actual and standard is known as variance this is further analyzed to find out whether variance is debit variance or credit variance so variance is the variance is nothing but difference between actual cost and the standard cost and that will be known uh, where in the analysis so that's why the difference is to be known uh, then the difference with that difference the difference is more or less or the difference is positive or negative that can be uh, analyzed uh, with the help of that uh, variance in future it can be reduced or it can be increased okay next you see uh, analysis of causative factors for variances so what are the reasons are there uh, for this variance so is there any uh, multiple reasons are there so for all debit or unprofitable variances causative factors reasons responsible are uh, unearthed and then are classified into controllable and uncontrollable reasons so uh, with this standard cost we can uh, segregate controllable factors and uncontrollable factors so what are the controllable factors so that can be controlled so then cost will be reduced what are the uncontrollable that can be not reduced because that is uncontrollable so that's why it can be easily uh, cause and effect uh, relation can be studied with the help of this standard cost next uh, corrective measures so in relation to controllable causes the people responsible are held up and uh, are instructed to take necessary remedial measures and uh, see that they do not repeat in the time to come so all the measures controllable causes the people responsible are held up and instructed to take necessary remedial measures so sometimes uh, can be remedial measures uh, measures also can be taken into consideration as corrective measures so that also can be performed with the help of these uh, uh, standard cost next uh, reporting to management so without uh, knowing Uh, um what is what would be the cost in uh, preparing um uh, products so management cannot take decisions so that's why in the process what will be what would be the uh, cost uh, that can be uh, 
uh, reported to the management, then management can take uh, better decisions. So that's why, depending upon the degree of severity of the variances, information by following the principle of management by exception will be reported to the concerned management level of level for uh, necessary cost control measures. So cost control is most 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 important while producing products. So last one, uh, revising the standards with regard to uncontrollable variances, an idea of revising the standards, watching the change in the scenario may be do up. So that's why uh, revising standards also is most important because uh, which one is uh, done, which one is not to be done, that is to be calculated. And uh, next one, the process, the process of standard costing, the process of standard costing. The process of standard costing. The process of standard cost is as below. Setting of standards. First one, setting of standards. The first step is to set standards which are to be achieved. Uh, the process of standard setting is explained below. Setting of standards is the most important. Next, uh, ascertainment of actual cost. Ascertainment of actual cost is most important. Actual cost for each component of cost is ascertained. Actual cost are ascertained from the books of account, material invoices, waste sheet, and the charges slip, etc. Next, comparison of actual cost with the standard cost. So, comparison also must be there. So, then only we can determine the variances. Next, to investigate the reasons for variances. Variances arise or investigated for further action. Based on this, performance is evalu evaluated and appropriate actions are to be taken. Uh, next, to dispose, disposition of variances. Variances arise or disposed of by transferring it the relevant accounts that may be costing profit and loss account as per the accounting method adopted. Okay. So that is the process of commonly standard. So this is the lesson, uh, video lesson, uh, where you see uh, standard costing. So what is the definition of standard cost? What is the definition of standard costing? And uh, uh, and the concepts and uh, process. What is the process? That is the uh, importance. So these are the topics are covered in this video lesson. In the next video lesson, how to set up a standard cost in future, future uh, for the products. So uh, let me um, conclude this topic. Uh, Let me conclude with the help of oh, what is this? What is this one? Old, Microsoft one old. So you see. So with the help of Okay, uh, with this, I'm concluding this video lesson. So, thank you, thank you, and all.